Welcome to Back to Sweet Petrona. I hope that you are ready to learn a new song because I have a new song for you guys in the key major and it's not just any song. This song is so important to me because it's about one person or one figure that was the most important person in my life almost. Um, at least when it comes to growing up reading books. So this figure is uh, the world, the world's strongest uh, girl. Actually, her name is Pippi Longstrump or Pippi Longstock in English, I think. And uh, yeah, she's a girl with orange hair, and she has like ties. What do you call it? And she has a horse. She can actually carry her own horse. And when I was growing up, and my mother was reading me the stories of Astrid Lindgren, uh, the most famous Swedish author for children books in the world, I was just mesmerized by this girl who was so strong, and she had a dog. Uh, she had, she had a horse, and she had an ape. She was living uh, alone in a big yellow house in Sweden. So there is a theme song for her, of course that a very famous jazz pianist wrote, Jan Johansen. So I guess I'm a little bit homesick sitting here in the Netherlands, not being able to go home to Sweden to visit my family. So yeah, I'm going to teach you the most Swedish amazing song that we have. Because yeah, it's really awesome music written by the Swedish jazz man Jan Johansen and written, the story is written by Astrid Lindgren. So I'm just going to play it for you guys and then we are gonna learn it okay I can sing it for you, the text, it would be in Swedish, but uh, maybe there are some Swedish people listening to this. So... That's the chords that we have, if someone was a little bit curious about that. But we are going to learn the melody. I, I will uh, scan the scores and put them in the description, so you can find them here in the description, if you want to have scores. Uh, so far we haven't learned how to read scores, like officially, in uh, our video series here. Mm, so I, I will do a video with that, how to read shallow scores. It's not super difficult. But um, uh, yeah, I also like just doing like this, that you play after me, because then it kind of forces you to look how I play. So, and that is actually how you learn the fastest way, is if you look, listen, and then imitate, okay? So that's why I'm doing that. So let's, <laughs> let's play. I'm gonna do the first, um, first two bars, just, just do two bars at the time. I play it and then we do it together, okay? <laughs> We're gonna use that now as well. So we're gonna do the first note, the first bar is D, G. That's the first notes we play. So it's D, G. Open the four fingers. So 
that's the first we do in the this song. The second we do in this song is uh, is so it's uh, the whole bar, the whole first bar is just uh, yeah two notes in each bow. Okay, so let's do this. D Let's do it together, slowly, relax, and open the four fingers, one finger, four fingers. Right, that's the first bar. Da -di -da -di. And what is that? You might, why is the melody like that? It's actually genius, because it's a G major accord. So if you know anything about accords, maybe you have played piano or guitar before, then this is the notes for G major. So it's pretty much the same notes as the song I uh, showed you, like the Bach song, that is very famous cello, cello song. It's actually the same notes, just in different combinations. So we do the first bar. Da, da, di, da, da. Okay. Three, four, and awesome. First bar, check. Yes, we know it. Then second bar, I will play it for you. It's like this. Open A. Okay. So it's open A. One. Then two fingers. One finger. But as you can see, this is one bow. Open A is one bow. And then C, B is one bow. So again, two notes in one bow. So open A, C, B. One bow. And then A, B. Nice. Let's do it again. Open A, open A, two fingers, one finger in one bow. Yes, okay, again. Open A, C, B, one bow, A, B. Awesome, okay, really good. Slowly, slowly, we do it again. Let's just sing it one time. Dun, so dun, da, di. That's how far we come so far. So now we're just gonna memorize it. How it is? How? What are we doing? We are doing open string, four fingers, open string, four fingers in one bow, then one finger on A string, two G string, four fingers in one bow. That's the first bar. Then A open string, C two fingers, one finger, open string, G. Okay, that's what we do. One more time. Memorizing like this is super good because we are like air playing the shallow, so we don't actually have to use our muscles, but we just, you know, tell them what is happening. So open D, four fingers, one finger, four finger, open A, C, two fingers, one in one bow, open A, G. That's the two first bars, okay? Really cool. Really cool. I will play it one more time for you and then you play with me. Or if you already feel like, hmm, I got it, just play with me. Okay? Three, four, and. Awesome. Really good work. That's how it sounds like. Let's do it together. What is important now? If you feel like, oh, I cannot find a note, it's super difficult, then I have a trick for you. Always. A trick up my sleeve. Let's do. So you have open string, then four fingers. You don't have to actually move that finger. Now, you see? You have four fingers here. 
And then you need one finger on the A string. That's the next note. You can just move the finger like this. You see? Because so then you actually don't need to move at all. So just keep your fingers very very close to the string and move super super small movements. Okay? That's a super trick. I promise you it will change your world and relax of course. So Okay, we do it again. Three, four. <laughs> Awesome! Yes! Great! Now we are doing it! Let's do it again! Slow and movements super small. Three, four. Great! Okay, check. Now we know those notes, uh, that bar, it will come once again later. So we have put money into the bank. We learned one bar and we got two. So that's really good. Let's take the two next bars, okay? Next bars are F sharp, three fingers on D to A in one bow, two notes in one bow, okay? So it's... That's the one bar. I showed it now, so let's do it together. It's three, open A, D, three. So it's actually a D, D, D chord. D, so I say the, the fingering, so three fingers, open A, open D, three fingers, great. Again, three fingers, open A, open D, three fingers, Awesome, really good. That's one bar. Let's do it again. Three, four. Three fingers, open D, open D, three. Did I say open D? Open A, I mean. Okay, one time when I don't speak, because now I can't speak, okay? Three, four, and three, four. Awesome, okay? Good. Then the next bar is four fingers on the D string. One finger on the D. So the two bars together I will show you is just to show you. The second bar, four finger on D. Then one finger on A. Four finger on D. One finger on A. Great. Okay. Let's do the two last parts that we learned. So three fingers on A uh, on D string. Three fingers open A open D. Three. You are doing great. It's a lot of information now. I'm just <laughs> uh, with information. I will play it for you one time. The two last bars that we learned. Three, four, and. Good. Very small movements, okay? Relax and do it with me. Three, four. And three fingers, open A, open D, three fingers, four fingers, one finger. Cool. Let's do the four bars now that we learned. You're going to do great. I'm going to play it first. So you listen, you look, and then we play together. Okay? Three, four, and... <laughs>
Good. Awesome. Now we sing it together so you get it into your head because it starts in your head how you want to play it, okay? Da da di ram da da di da di di da da di do da. Okay? Really good. Now we go through it just mentally. How what are we gonna do? Okay? Let's do it again. Okay. From the beginning. It's open D to four fingers in one bow. One finger on A string. Two four finger on D string. That's the first bar. And then open A. C with two fingers to B. One finger in one bow. A. G. Three fingers on D, two, open A, one, yeah, one bow, then open D, two, three finger on D, in one bow, and then four, one, okay, so that's what we do, we mentally just go through the scores, now we know, we tried it, now we try to play it, okay, we are relaxed, we know what we are doing, if you feel like, oh, I have to do the mentally practicing one time, so you have to go through it one more time. You just pause the video and go back and do it again, okay? So we are gonna play, okay? Three, four, and no. <laughs> Again, you will get more and more notes for every time you do it. Okay, three, four, and awesome. So do I have good news for you or do I have good news for you? Okay, all of this comes actually two times. So if you learn the first four bars like we did now, you have learned half of the song. So is that great or is that awesome? So we are okay, we are, it's a lot of information, a lot of things to learn, but we get half of the song for it. So is that a good deal or a good deal? Okay, let's do it now. Again, and think about relaxation. We have the notes in our mind. Da di da di da da di di da da di da di da da. Okay, one, two, three, four, and. Because the last time, now we did half of the song, so the only difference between the first time and the second time is the it's first time and it's the second time. All right, so we learned half the note, uh, half the song, half the note. I think that's good for today. So we have half of he hello people on stock. So I think that's really good for today. Just repeat the video. Until you, until, until you can have a very relaxed sound and you can play it and feel free. Until you can play this and you feel like, oh yeah, it's fine. Then um, repeat and practice. That's just how we learn. Okay, so let's play it one last time. 
yeah, just as a little end end session to look at what we learned and what you don't get the first time you practice, you will get the second or third or ten time. You know, that's how it works. So don't forget to subscribe so you will uh, have the the cliffhanger here, the, the the next part, part two. And I hope you have a really good day. So let's play together one last time. Three, four. <laughs> Thank you.